offense. I'm stoked. Big tire guys tore it up pretty good, but we're going to give it the best we can. Uh, we put a bigger motor in it since last year because we kind of all agreed that you can only go so fast through the trees. So we just put a bunch of power in it to try to make it in the straightaways. But it's pretty slippery out there, so we can't really use all of it anyway. But do the best we can and see if we can hold it together. So what are you running now? It's a 355 with a Holly Sniper fuel injection system on it. So it makes a little over 400 horse. And what were you running last year? A uh, bone stock, small block. Yeah. So it's got plenty more power, but you got to be able to put it down to the ground. <laughs> and what do you feel about this? How do you feel about this course? The course is awesome. It's actually way better than last year. I, we really like the really long stretches that they added. And as far as in the trees and stuff, it's very similar to last year. Um, obviously, we all wish there was more snow, but we can't do anything about that. So we're just going to go out and get muddy and try not to blow it up. Have fun. Well, this here's the shifty shop up at the Insanity Fab Winter Challenge 2019. 2019. We come to watch the carnage and see what happens. It's a pretty awesome event, and if you ain't been up before, you really need to check it out. There's an awesome hole right here. I guess we'll see where Meg's headed in her cheap Jeep. I guess not too far. We're looking for a spare. What did he do? We uh, blew that front driver's side tire. Just a little bit. Totally. <laughs> but we're gonna find a spare and we're gonna fix it. Cause Jocelyn, right we get this Jocelyn open. <laughs> We need a Jeep tire. We need a five-holer. ASAP. Hi. Hello. Are you supposed to go inside to do that? <laughs> you know, the, only the bottom Hello? side of it's black. Call AAA. The broke <laughs> top side is still <laughs> round. <laughs> the, the, the 2019 NIMAC, I mean, they will well, we haven't hauled your make Jeep something happen. So yeah, there's someone here that has an air someone compressor. Someone will have an air compressor or another tire. Or maybe another Jeep. <laughs> well, it's Friday here at Insanity Fab Winter Challenge, and we've still got some racing to come. Hmm. Yeah, you're not the only one. I'm not sure I can just drive around on it like that. Dude, they have two undercuts. Yeah. They've bags. They've tore it up so bad. Ready to party? Take a bag. Well, the second heat of Class A racers are lined up and ready to go. Let's see what they've got.
only one competitor all the way through for a first lap yet. Let's head down to the Undertaker and see what's going on. Looks like Rob Boardway's lost a belt. They're getting that back on now.
Looks like Rob's got to put his belt back on again. How's it been so far? Oh, fun. Big springs. Not a good race truck. <laughs> Passenger. Yeah, 
Well, we're back on track and all the Class 8 drivers have now finally gotten through the Undertaker at least once. And all the rigs are back on course. Now it's down to who can make the five full laps first, or who can make five laps at all.
Well, we're about ready to run out of daylight, but we finally concluded heat two of Class A drivers. And that concludes our racing for the first day of Insanity Fab Winter Challenge 2019. This isn't the GP left in? <laughs> yeah, this is. That's not where I put my Did you find a spare? No, no there's and one out in the yard, but it's extra wide. Now, can you put one that's this big on? Um, I mean, it would work, right? If you put it on the back? Yeah. You did it hauling mortise. You should have seen what I brought him hauling mortise when we blew a tire on the trailer. Oh, did the tire fall off? It's totally off the. Huh. But there's there's one that's you know a race car size, but it's a five holer. No, it's in Cherie's yard. <laughs> We're thinking about maybe we should let us borrow no. it. Well, that's a wrap for day one. But some of these racers have got a lot of work to do before tomorrow. fourth annual Insanity Fab Winter Challenge held at NIMAC, North Idaho Mud and Crawl. This is the second day, Saturday, so this is the, uh, these are the competitors. This is what we have going on for today is our big tire semi-final of eight vehicles, small tire, or sorry, side-by-side -side, uh, main event, four vehicles, and then small tire semi-finals out of eight vehicles. So we'll start that before lunch and then main events will be after lunch. Class B competitors are getting ready to go, but Blaine and I are still not quite there yet. So I was saying this morning we're probably going to hit a train. I was hoping that was sarcasm, but it turned out to be reality. But not only did we hit the train, but the train literally just started crossing here. Oh, let's let's play. So in the rush to leave before we hit a train, which backfired on us because we still had a train, Blaine realized now he forgot to get diesel, which was something he was supposed to do. And now his truck is out of diesel. So we're gonna tow it to the North Idaho Mud and Crawl property and hopefully someone has diesel so he can drive to the gas station. Let's talk with a few of these drivers to see how they feel about today's racing. It's, uh, it's going to be a good one. Yeah, all eight of us off the line. It's going to be pretty entertaining. There'll be some rubbing out there. Okay? Uh, love the retro helmet. Thank you. 
you know, these heat races, I feel like we should still just be doing, just take it easy and try and finish. Um, you know, from what I seen yesterday, if you don't break and you can finish the race, you're pretty much going to qualify for the next one. That's kind of the way it looks so far. So if we can just take it easy and finish this, we'll get to go into the heat and you guys will get to see some driving once we get to the main race. I've been asked by other drivers, you need to go to this, you need to come to this race, you need to come to this race. And, you know, I just, I didn't have no interest in driving all through the winter, you know, to try and get here. It's, it's a long drive. We're in the snow where we're at too, you know, so you leave in the snow and every pass you go over is icy and snowy and, you know, towing a big trailer heavy. And uh, my co-driver Ricky said, uh, doesn't matter, I'll drive. I'll buy tire chains, I'll buy chains for the trailer. He's like, let's go to this race. So I said, all right, if you want to do it. And uh, the next day he's like, hey, our entry's paid. We're going to the race. I said, all right, I guess we're going. You know, Ricky's, my driver is, uh, was 900 miles of driving by the time we got here. You know, he left his house, came and got me. He came and got me, and then we went up. Oh, we just glad to be here. We're uh, real thankful that uh, NIMAC puts on this event and gives us all a place to come and, and, uh, and race and families to enjoy what's going on and we're just here to have a good time. We got through heat one, we're hoping to get through heat two and I think for this heat we're just going to try and keep her together. There's a, it's an eight, eight vehicle heat. The uh, top five I believe advance so uh, looking around there's uh, definitely five very capable vehicles here if, and actually eight if you get down to it so we're just going to work our way nice and slow hope for uh, other people to break and, uh, and, and pick our way through over yesterday any damage or anything uh, anything you had to uh, no damage some header wrap caught on fire and it caught on fire three four more times coming around the back side of the course but once the oil dried up it, it didn't affect any of the wiring or it was outboard of any uh, crucial components so we were able to continue Hi, this is Teresa Loomis. You may have seen me on Truck Night in America. Um, I'm the one that launched my Scout and uh, didn't make it too far, but let's take a look and see if these guys can go farther than I did. Many racers have made it all the way around yet. Let's see what's going on. Hadn't seen them for a while. Oh, <laughs> upside down. Yep. Yep. This is 
caused a big holdup for the race. Let's talk to Cliff and see what's going to happen next. Uh, we called the race stop, had one rig rolled over. He's pretty much a hit man. And while Matty Moon reels in the winch cable of the Moonigan Blazer, let's talk with Delray Romero. All right, we're out here at Insanity Fab Winter Challenge 2019. We got Jason Moon. Just climbed out of a huge hole, but we had two buggies stack up right there that weren't able to recover themselves. So we're doing a restart. So what we do with the restart is we keep all the racers in the order they're in on that lap, and they just go to the start line and restart that lap. Um, it's a new thing we're doing this year. A bunch of the, the racers wanted us to do that. So uh, I think this year it's uh, working out pretty good with that system. Now it's a matter of getting all the vehicles extracted off the course and back to the starting line to start over again. Back to that same spot again. Let's see what the holdup is. They're waving at you to go if you want. Looks like no problem for Jason Gonzalez. This is going to pose a big problem for some of the heavier full-size vehicles. Going to use the time while everybody's stuck. on the axle tech's broken case. Jason Gonzalez, he broke two axle shafts, one front, one rear. All, all the carnage is happening back here. Might be your chance here when they winch up out of your way.
Well, weird. there is a lot of cars stuck here. I, there is a huge, huge hole right there, and everybody tried to go around that side, but they can't make it because they keep digging into the bank. So it's basically just a huge hole and a muddy mess. Right now they are pulling winch line on this one truck, trying to get him out of the way so that the other ones can go around. And this guy tried to go around and now he's on the side. up here. Nothing's going to keep Jeff from smiling.
quite the jam here and quite a bit for these competitors to figure out how to get out of. Those still on course elsewhere are about ready to get stopped once they get to that point. back here uh, just a little bit of action right down in here I think he just broke his rear axle front one was already out but uh, this spot right here is getting him tied up Sitting in first place right now I know I just kind of finished yeah. but I got two broken axles yeah In front of you here, he's got two broken axles and uh, leaking fuel cells, so he's almost out of fuel. I got two broken axle shafts and a cracked fuel cell. They're winching. That's why I smell the fuel. <laughs> Not me, but it sucks for you. <laughs> hey, just... we can just call it right now. You're first and second. We'll play the next, and we'll be done. How many races? <coughs> it's just us two that are keep going. I thought. Hey, I'm on lap five. I thought we should have been lap five already. I'm already lap five. I'm on brakes. <laughs> good, good. Parker right there. Well, we're on race stop, so. We are? Yeah. We're dead in there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Phil, can you give us that order one more time? A little bit slower. Okay, we've got Barnyard. Well, hold on. Let me let me get around him. I was just saying, pull forward a little bit. <laughs> yeah, come come up on the bank here or something. Pull forward a couple of feet and you'll be first place. We went from the pretty much the start of this trail all the way to here. This is it right here. This is one, two, and three. We got the top This line. course has definitely had its toll on the vehicles. Let's go over and talk to Jimmy. Howdy, y'all. This is Jimmy Driver here. You know me from Mortis. I didn't bring my car up today to the Insanity Fab Winter Challenge, but death did arrive for a lot of cars. Well, there's a lot going on and there's others ready to race, but there's a lot of repairs to be had. Yeah, we have big tire class. They're setting out in the pits and by their trailers and camps, uh, working hard, thrashing on their race, trying to get the top five back out here for their last main event. The course is progressing quite a bit throughout the day, especially with the big tires. They're, they're getting big holes, a lot of deep ruts. Uh, and it's, it's starting to show on the vehicles now. There's a lot of guys that are broken right now, uh, broken winches, broken shafts, a couple tires that have been shredded. Uh, but the competitors are hanging in there. It's a tough course. To We're here with Jeff Noggle. Tell us what happened with your steering. Uh, we sheared all five of the high steer arm studs off the driver's side knuckle. We clipped a tree pretty good in the back. And uh, we didn't know 
we didn't know it was broke until we had a restart race. And uh, I told my brother to jump out and take a look at everything, make sure everything's all right. And he spotted it. And uh, so before the race even got to restart, we started pitting and we got them uh, welded and got the studs out. Uh, Spencer Ham actually pulled all his stuff off for me and we got it put back together. Lost one stud, had to stop a, another time at the pits, get one of the nuts put back on. Uh, he went and stole another one. We got that done. And uh, that before that even happened, we were on our fir this very first lap, we went around and got a flat tire. And uh, so we had, we've been to the pits three times already. Um, seem to be still going though, so I think we're all right. What did you think about the course? It's ruthless out there. Um, it is, it's, it, I think this would be really hard without snow and without 12 people, you know, to have to go around every single, every, every lap. And then to do five, six laps is, is uh, crazy with a, with a race, you know, race mentality going on. It's, it's rough. And things are looking pretty rough for Jason Moon right now. It, it, uh, Gal Shaft came off the back of the 205 transfer case. That's what happened. Bolts actually pulled the threads on the, the main 205 case housing. So I think it got a little bit loose and it got to banging back and forth and just came completely out of there. We'll go back to the drawing board, try it again. Uh, first lap we were coming around and uh, there was that little log uh, shot to the right of it. The ass in caught it when it came down, busted the rear axle. So we shot back over here. Jeff had another one sitting in his trailer, popped it in there. And uh, by then it was too late, you know. Everyone already had some laps on us, so they called it, and uh, we ended up seventh, you know, two spots out of it, so whatever. Next year, we'll be back. We'll be back. What I've seen on this is this hole here has become probably a good four to six feet deeper than in the summertime. And it seems to be eating rigs left and right, which is pretty exciting because you watch somebody, some of these big tire class guys and coming into this hole and they just disappear on the other side of the berm and you can't even see them. Jeff Noggle and Barnyard and them guys are going in there and just disappear and it's, it's impressive, especially when somebody does make it through. But it'll be fun to wheel this in the summertime. <laughs> yeah. Two gallons of water and a little radiator hose later and we're going. I didn't need three gallons of water. Yeah, that's why I was getting hot. Oh, blue Raider. Oh, yeah, heater core. Yep. And you want to keep good help at the shop. My best method is to break a foot in a door. Okay, y'all see I got shoes on. You realize that it's because there's over three inches of snow and around 20 degrees, so sucks. It's 104.7 where we pump more wattage to your cottage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuel for the fire. Fancy, actual, real piece of puzzle. Hi, I am Dustin James Diamond, and we're at the North Idaho Mud and Crawl Insanity Fab Winter Challenge. We're going to interview Mike today. Yes, sir. How was your day yesterday? It was absolutely awesome up here at uh, the Winter Challenge. How about you? Good. It was pretty fun yesterday. Was it a lot of good racing? Yeah. Well, we got a little radiator reinforcing going on. Oh, like reattaching the fenders. Yeah, we got to look pretty while we're out there, you know? Yeah, it's like you got a bit of a delay. A little yeah, bit. So. Yeah. Still two trucks stuck down in the hole. Should be able to go around them. We'll be all right. <laughs> you guys are the only guys with paddles out here. You think you got a bit of an advantage or? Well, I don't know. We didn't have a choice. For what we don't have. <laughs> we broke a wheel yesterday, so. Uh, so you had no choice. No choice. Yeah. Uh, so what do we got under the hood? All hot rotted up or what? No. Factory power, baby. Yeah. Nobody does it better than the factory. You're a little worried about the guy with the paddles there? Oh, absolutely. Okay. No, I, I know what he's all about. That's my boy. <laughs> and we're just waiting. We're ready. You're ready, yeah. Ready and ready you're not so ready. No, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> the 
course is as clear as it's going to get and they're going to start the side by side racers. What's going on down here? They're not trying hard enough or what? Is that what's happening? to come. The final heats for both Class A and Class B, and to find out the winners. We'll see you at next year's Insanity Fab Winter Challenge. Out here for this winter race. First run of many. I'll be back next year. So I had, I had a lot of fun. We all had a lot of fun. And here's to Spencer Ham, waiting for us at the finish line, cheering the racers on. And always back with us in spirit from here on out.